Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chrysalis. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Have, have a damage hazard. Let's use, let's use our weather boots, because surely those will work with spikes, right? Yes, of course they will. <laughs> but at this point, it's actually time for a bit of grinding. Oh, joy. We want the power ring. We want recover in case we get poisoned. Because we are fighting spiders. Take that, punk! These spiders are worth, worth I believe, 1,280 experience. So just respawning these two spiders will give us the experience we're after. Because we need to be level 14 before we can take on the next member of the finest four. So, the grind begins! Right! Well, now we've taken care of that. Let's continue our way through this castle. Oh! The falling down that hole takes us pretty much right back to where we were. Although, uh, if we had continued across that pit, then we would find an antidote. It's not as useful as an opal statue. It can be useful if you got poisoned by the spiders. Ah! Fuzzy bats things! Take that! Ew! Out of the way! Ow! Oh! Good thing for the sacred shield. But here we are going to start seeing a return of some familiar shadows. It turns out we do have a way to kill them. It just involves a fireball bracelet. Take that, punk! So yeah, we definitely could have done this in, in Sabera's fort on Evil Spirit Island. But it's still the worst name for an island ever. <laughs> oh, ah. Take that, punks! Alright, we've made it across most of the platforms. You're not in the way, which is useful. Alright. Let's make sure we have the Ring of Power equipped and that will heal up a bit. Guess who we're gonna fight? Behold, it's Mado again! Hello, sir! I'm glad you could come! You're nothing to fear! Be proud of it! That doesn't even make sense. Uh, you're gonna learn! I am something to fear! Whoa! Yes, he's had a very significant improve improvement since the last time we fought him. But that power ring is a... is an ungodly improvement. <laughs> but now that he's out of the way, we can continue forward. Hey there, Asina. You alright? Yay! Last sorcerer is Carmine! We haven't met him before. He uses pa magic to change people into monsters, so be careful about that. Yes. And we do actually have something for countering that ability, which would be this. If we get turned into a mon- If you get turned into a monster, your only- Your only recourse for- The only thing you can do to reverse it is to use that fruit. Or, or, uh, make it, or go to a screen transition. It does not wear off on its own. Let's kill stuff. 
And these skeletons, you definitely want to paralyze before or attacking. Otherwise, they fall apart a lot. And they are poisonous, so, uh, probably watch out for that, too. I should really stop running into things. I'm good at games. <laughs> now that white stuff that they had shot onto me, which looked like a form of uh, webbing of some description, actually drains magic points. Shouldn't be too big of a problem because I have so many magic rings kicking around. Nah, I don't want to fight you. I want to go this way. Nah. Now, if we continue across these these pits, then we'll and we'll have a run in with uh with what's his name, Kensu. But uh, we won't be able to actually do much for him. Because he's been turned into a monster and we need to find a specific item for helping other people. Now, at the, at the bottom of the of the spikes just to our right, there is a mimic. At the, bottom of, at the bottom of this mess of spikes spikes here, we'll find some warp boots. We don't need those. Whoa. But this brought you to death. And heal up a lot. Now oh, let's be realistic. <laughs> that magic won't make it through the barriers. Alright, we have Thunder Sword, we have Power Ring, we have Barrier, we are ready to rock. Hey there, Carmine! Hi! Dragonia's finest! Ah, uh, I'm not that tired. You, however! Aha! He didn't get to use his ability, which turns us into a monster. But we clicked the ivory statue and the storm bracelet, which is the Thunder Swords brace uh, bracelet. We'll get to see that later, but not right now. Phew, out of the way. However, we definitely do not need to... We definitely don't have to be uh, switching, well, orbs or bracelets anymore. Very nice. Let's go and help out Kensu. Which I'm going to need this statue. Hello, sir! I was stupid and got hit by Carbine. In order to cover, I need an ivory statue. It's in the room downstairs. Use the hole over there behind you. You know, down this way. But we got this thing, so... There you go. Now we talk to him again. Let's give him the statue. Yay! Oh. See, it can call the tower! Don't give it to Dragon! And Kensu will teach us to fly! Hooray! Now we get to use the shortcut in the back of the, ta of the castle! Which we did need flight in order to use. Aha! And it is quite the shortcut. Bye. Now this purple stuff, the leather boots would protect us from. So you might be wondering, what kept us from using this shortcut in the first place? That is down here. This pile of water that we can't jump over. <laughs> Which also might clue you into where we're at. Yes, we're in the cave where we picked up the power ring. So it's actually 
pick up an up another item which uh, we didn't have access to getting before. Because you, you need to be able to fly to get it, naturally. This box! The Battle Armor! As you can see, flight is required. The battle Armor is not as powerful as the Ceramic Suit, but it does protect you from being poisoned. Whether that's a good or bad thing is up to you, because if an enemy poisons you, that means they don't hit you. <laughs> oh well. Let's get out of here. We'll go back to Goa. Because now that we've cleared out the castle, people are a bit more normal. Prices in the shops haven't changed, though. And the guards are nowhere to be seen. Yeah, the Emperor is pretty powerful. Where is everybody? They ran away. But here we have... Here we have, uh, Akahana's friend. And he's talking normal, so... Hey! Yay! We got the warrior ring! We'll get to see that in use a lot. Hey, there you. Yeah, it must feel nice. What do you think? Ah, you speak sense now. Hooray! Apparently this was all the work of Carbine? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Adults have some pretty funny priorities. As long as I can work, everything's fine. But no matter. Before we actually go chasing after Dragon, we need to... We need to return to Mount Hydra and pick up some stuff. Just because I don't want to have to... to switch for... um... Yeah, the battle armor is four points worse than the, than the ceramic plate. But I don't want to have to get unpoisoned, so we'll just put it on. What's the warrior ring do, exactly? Well, it makes it whenever we swing our sword, we get a level one charge shot. This makes a lot of the game safer. Shame there's not a lot left of it. And clearly, I do not have the spell I thought I had equipped. Oh boy. I had to use the flight spell to jump over it. Instead, I took a whole bunch of damage because I'm wearing the battle armor. Don't die, Rupal. Yeesh. Either way, now that we can fly, we can actually clear this place out. Get a very very powerful piece of kit. Out of the way, you! Aha! So glad Mimics are vulnerable to thunder. Here we have the Psycho Shield! The best shield in the game! Which also protects against, uh, against paralysis and petrification! Like that, punk? Alright, now to get out of here. Fortunately, the... the guy we fought to get into this room doesn't respawn for some reason. Oh well. Alright. Make sure we have the correct spell equip this time. Also going to want to take off the the, the battle armor, because not getting poison could be fatal. <laughs> Ow. Oh 
over here, over here to the right. Eventually, if the uh, pathways will lead you to a magic ring, I am not in need of one of those. A little bit more in need of some help. Back, back, I say. Yes, I do acknowledge that a, that a magic ring does... can be used to gain much health. <laughs> it's just a very long path that I don't want to deal with, so... Fortunately, I have the, I have the option to keep everything at a screen's distance. Including you! Right. Bats! They're everywhere! Oh good, they can't hurt me. Away with you! Bust down this wall and actually keep the wind sword equipped. Because if you hit these slimes with the thunder sword, they become large and dangerous, and also worth not worth nothing. A chest over there was a mimic. Alright! Finally! We've reached the top of Mount Hydra! Where we retrieved the bow of the sun! That's giving us both the bows of the moon and the sun. Both are very required for finishing the game. Speaking of finishing the game, well, we'll get started on that path next time. We'll see you then. Later. <laughs>